asked her to meet us at her house at 6.30. Where is she? Did you tell her what's going on? Maybe she's avoiding this situation. She doesn't know about the intervention. Hopefully she'll understand we're only trying to help her. I mean, she thinks what she's doing is okay. Hey, we're not leaving her until she gets here. She's displaying all the signs. Mood swings, sleep disorder, eating habits. She's addicted. You're right, she does have really bad mood swings. I'll get it. It's okay, I let myself in. We need to talk to you. Have a seat. That's okay, I'll stand. I can't stay long. I'm going shopping with Paula later. Paula has the same problem. She's probably the one who got her into it. Got me into what? What is this all about? Why are you guys acting so weird? Just take a seat and we'll explain it to you. You can explain whatever it is while I'm standing. See what I mean about the mood swings? What mood swings? What? Stop looking at me like I'm in the middle of an intervention! Who told? What? I need to talk to you about your problem, Jessica. What? What problem? I'm leaving. You can't run away from it, Jessica. What the hell are you talking about? Your addiction, sweetie. We're your friends. We want to help you. Jessica, you know what we're talking about. It's practically taken over your life. You guys are completely insane. I'm not addicted to anything. My life is completely under control, except for you psychos making me crazy. Hey, don't blame us for what you can't control. Blame yourself and maybe your shoes. Shoes? Is that what this is all about? My addiction to shoes? You guys are having an intervention about my shoe addiction? Do you realize how pathetic you are? Your life must be really boring. I like shoes. A lot. But not enough to call for a goddamn intervention. You own $15,000 worth of shoes. So? They take up three closets in your house. The shoes need their space. You refer to your shoes like they're people. I did no such thing. <gasps> Wearing a new pair of shoes. Can't you see you're out of control? God, how much did they cost? None of your business. Who are they? Roberto Cavelli. Ooh. Hey! How much were they, Jessica? Two hundred. Plus. Five hundred. Equals. Seven fifty. God, do you hear the guilt in your voice? Hey, it's my money and my closet space and my life, so butt out. The first step to recovery is acceptance. We're your friends and we want to help you. What about your little problem, Teresa? Hey, she's not the one that needs help. You're not playing fair. Hey, you have no room to preach to me about self-control, especially with the collection you have going. That was a secret. How much long did you think you could keep a secret like that? God, you have no self-control, hypocrite. I thought you were my friend. You're so selfish. You bought a $700 pair of shoes. I collect artifacts, part of history. They'll be worth tons someday. You've got to be kidding me. You think the entire cast of Friends is gonna be worth money someday? You spend as much money on that crap as I do on my shoes. I do not. Name one time. Ringo. What the hell are you guys talking about? I'm sensing some confusion. Bobbleheads. She collects bobblehead dolls. It's a doll collection. They're not dolls. And Ringo's part of the Beatles collection. I have the whole set now. Do you have any idea how much that would sell for on eBay? A doll collection? God, that's lame. I stopped collecting dolls when I was 10. How many dolls do you have, Teresa? She has the entire Mariners team, including the Moose. The first step to recovery is acceptance. You guys just don't understand. What's the thing you really want? Unconditional love? Acceptance? Are you afraid you're gonna live out your entire life dying an old maid who never had anyone? Are you replacing your relationships with bobbleheads? I think that's the underlying problem. Who gave you the psych degree, Robert? I just like them, okay? And I thought you were immature before. Oh, shut up, Lindsay. Hey, do you have the cast of Happy Days? Or the Hulk? Or Batman and Friends? Do they all have moving parts? Does Barbie have a bobblehead? Don't be ridiculous. And yes, Barbie has a bobblehead. <laughs> God, and you've got it? You're still collecting dolls at age 25? That's absurd. And kind of pathetic, if you ask me. 
Well, no one's asking you, you perv. Don't call me that. Sicko. Shut up. Voyeur. <gasps> Please to chill out. She isn't the one with the problem. We need to address the bubbles. No, her thing is much worse than the bobbles. She's addicted to- You swore! You swore you wouldn't tell anyone ever! I just thought since we were all getting help tonight that you could use some. I know I have a problem, but I need to handle it by myself. It's too embarrassing. Hey, didn't we come here for Jessica in the first place? Hey, this is on you guys now. The first step is admitting you have a problem. I just did. I just said I know I have a problem. The second step is telling us what it is. If we guess what it is, will you tell us? You won't guess. I know what it is. Can I give hints? No. Is it sex? <laughs> no, but close. No, that's not it at all. Are you a peeping Tom? No. Are you into s and <gasps> You mean bondage? No! Whoa, sometimes. Shut up. You don't know that. You've got it. I've seen it. You I can't can't leave the church in the house. Wait! It's porn. No. Liar. You're addicted to porn. I'm sure lots of people have that problem. You're the only girl, though. I need help. I have a whole closet full of this stuff. It's hidden behind a bookshelf so no one can find it. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like a car crash. I can't help but watch it. I take it over my weekends. I'm losing sleep. I think I've lost my sex drive. Do you have any idea how much porn you have to watch to lose the desire to have sex? I don't know what to do. Please, I need you guys to help me get over this. I want to be a normal person again. Please. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was this bad. How about this? Well... I'll go over to your house and build a big fire in your backyard and burn all of it. How does that sound? I can't do that. Why not, honey? Is that too much too soon? Do we need to start slow? No, it's just that... We're here to listen. It's really bad for the ozone to burn plastics. Well, then tell us what we can do to help you. Yeah, okay. Just give me a second to think about some things. I have a better idea. We can take it away from you and we'll pack it all in boxes and you won't know where it is, but you'll know it's there and it won't control you anymore. Okay, but where would we put it? There's a lot of it and I don't think it's a good idea to keep it at my house. Good point. I can't think of anywhere to put a closet full of it. You guys already know I don't have any extra closet space. Hey, once you get that closet cleared out, can I keep some of my shoes there? I'm not gonna be your enabler, Jessica. Fine. Who has extra closet space? I don't have any. Okay, it's decided. I'll be the keeper of the porn. Thanks, you guys. You've probably saved my life. That's why I, I mean, we do it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Come on, guys. Group hug. <sighs> okay, Robert, I have to ask. We all have our vices. What's yours? I don't think I have any. I just a well-balanced individual. He's addicted to interventions. This is the third one he's had this week. What? So I, uh, yeah, that Maggie Brown's a chocoholic. The, the first, first step, step to recovery, recovery is admitting you have a problem. problem.